डी सी एफ डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो ऑल्सो उन्हें इनकम इनकम अप्रोच अप्रोच टू टू वैल्यूएशन 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 ऑफ इंटाइम सी लिटल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स बट आई स्किप द आई लॉन्ट टू बी द फॉर्मूलाज हाउ दो यू ऑलरेडी माइट नो दैट सी लेट अस ऑल टाइम लेट अस ऑल टाइम लाइन दिस इज अ टाइम लाइन राइट दिस इज एट प्रेजेंट जीरो जीरो एट प्रेजेंट यू आर प्रेजेंट यू आर हेयर दिस दीज आर इयर्स इयर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फाइव इयर्स This is an intangible. This is an intangible. You have at present. You have an intangible in your hand. You have an intangible. You have an intangible in your hand, and you want to value that intangible using this income or discounted cash flow method. Now, what you will do? Income approach. You will create projections. You will create financial projections that using or exploitation of this intangible. exploitation of this molecule or patent whatever that intangible is exploitation of this intangible will bring you financial rewards will create income flows will create cash flows for you every year fine and supposing you 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 know that the expected life for this molecule is 5 years fine so accordingly you create that every year every year this molecule the exploitation of this molecule will will will, will bring you certain cash flows here 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 and here this is the terminal year this is the terminal year terminal fine so at the end of 1 2 3 4 5 years you have certain projections That at the end year, at the end of year one, you have certain certain financial certain financial value, certain dollar value, monetary value. At the end of two, three, four, and five, fine. And because you have created this projection, this is a projection. This is a projection, a prediction. So so you have accordingly divided this projection across five years. Which you see, which you which you uh, have adjusted to be the life of this intangible. Fine. Now, what you will do in this DC approach, discounted cash flow approach, you will now you will now you will now bring all these five values: one, two, three, four, five. You will bring all these five values. To the present time, you will bring all these five values to the present time. In other words, you will create the present value for each of these values. Net present value. You will create present value for cash flow at the end of one year. You will bring this cash flow. to the present time that is why it is known as present value you will go to year number 2 you will create the present value for this second year cash flow accordingly third fourth and fifth this process wherein you will bring you will bring these five cash values at the end of 1 2 3 4 5 years to the present time and accordingly you will arrive at the present value this process is known as discounting discounting this is the process of discounting discounting and that is why this method is known as discounted cash flow you have these cash flows 1 2 3 4 5 these are cash flows cash flow at the end of one first year second third fourth fifth year you have the cash flows You have the cash flow that you have arrived on the basis of financial projection, and now what you are doing, you are discounting those cash flows and you are bringing them to the zero zero that is present time. In other words, you are arriving at the present value. So if you will add one, two, three, four, five, you will arrive at the net present value. 
नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू दैट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट इनटेंजिबल एट जीरो जीरो दैट इज एट प्रेजेंट टाइम्स एंड यू विल अराइव एट द नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू यू विल वैल्यू द इनटेंजिबल वन मोर पॉइंट आफ्टर टर्मिनल एट द एंड ऑफ फिफ्थ ईयर एट द एंड ऑफ फिफ्थ ईयर यू विल ऑल्सो हैव अ टर्मिनल वैल्यू It's like scrap value, scrap value for that intangible. So that terminal value, that terminal value, terminal value, that will also be discounted. Is it clear? So summation of all these five plus terminal values, discounting all these six values will give you the net present value of that intangible. Is it clear? So this is known as discounted cash flow. so the parameters which you are which you require for this method you require what you require you require financial projection data because you are predicting the cash flows financial projection growth rates what will what is the rate of growth because these 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 cash flows will will rise you require data on growth rates you require data on the discounting rates discount rates useful life useful life and you also require require write down the terminal value so all these all these data all these values are required for you to make use of the discounted cash flow or income approach of valuing an intangible is this matter clear to all of you please it was not required but consider it as a gift yes or no so what are uh, starting plus three points what are starting three points financial projection what is the value of cash flow at the end of first year second year third year fourth year fifth year financial projection growth rates what is the rate of growth of these cash flows discounted rates discounting means when you are bringing all these future values to the present time that is you with the help of a discount rate useful life and terminal value scrap value at the end of also scrap is for tangible but still this is not mentioned in this this diagram is not mentioned in guidelines this would be in some valuation books is this point clear to you is this example abdul is it fine very important you can make use in your practice yes sir yes. great great great